This video explains how to fix your HP printer when the ink carriage jams and a carriage jam error message displays on your printer's control panel or on your computer. Turn the printer off and on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams in this video in a few minutes. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds for this type of reset. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then open the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Close the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. Do not remove jammed paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output trays. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it might not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, you need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, Push in the tabs on both sides of the duplexer and then pull it straight out from the printer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. You might see some excess ink on the paper as you pull it out of the printer. This is normal. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the duplexer for any jams. Press the two tabs on both sides of the top of the duplexer to open it. Remove any jammed paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, gently push the duplexer into the back of the printer until it snaps into place. If you cannot remove the paper jam from the back, you can attempt to remove it from the front. Return to the front. Grasp any jammed paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Close the input tray. Tray 2 is an optional accessory. If Tray 2 is installed, continue with these instructions. Otherwise, move to the next step. Lift the printer off of tray 2. Look at the bottom of the printer and in tray 2 for any jammed paper. Remove any obstructions that are found. 
Replace the printer to its original position on top of tray 2. Check the output tray for jammed paper. Carefully remove any jammed paper from the output tray rollers. If possible, use both hands to pull any whole sheets of paper to avoid tearing. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align plain white paper by tapping a stack on a flat surface, then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges, as well as obstructions in the print head assembly, can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move to the left side of the printer. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Allow the carriage to stop moving. Then, select a cartridge to remove and push in on the cartridge to release it. Pull the first cartridge straight out to remove it from the slot. Repeat until all cartridges are removed. When handling the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink port. Be careful not to touch the contacts or ink port, because doing this can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Holding the cartridge on the top and bottom, slide it directly into the open slot. Push the cartridge all the way in until it latches in place. Repeat reinstallation for all cartridges. When all the cartridges are in, close the cartridge access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, Press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage might try to move to the left of the printer. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Return to the front. If the carriage is docked in its station on the far right side of the printer, do not try and move it. Doing so may damage the printer. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing.
Remove any obstructions that are found. If the paper tears when you remove it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the right. to all the way to the left. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Follow these steps to remove the print head and check for obstructions that might be in the carriage path. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage may move to the left side of the printer. Turn to the back. Unplug the power cord. Return to the front. Lift the print head handle on the carriage. Lift the print head assembly up and then straight out of the printer. Make sure that you do not leave the print head assembly or the cartridges out of the printer for longer than five minutes. Leaving them out for an extended period of time can dry up the ink ports on the cartridges or nozzles on the print head assembly. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage. Use a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Once all obstructions are removed, you can reinstall the print head assembly. To do this, Slide the printhead assembly straight into the carriage and then press down to move it into position. Carefully lower the latch handle on the carriage, making sure that it is fully closed. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure the power source is functioning correctly. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back.
Disconnect the power cord. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then plug it back into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.